In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the front parking assist sensor on this Ford Escape. Let's get into it. We're gonna remove this cover, just use a trim tool, take the push pins out. And take these push pins out as well. And grab this panel and just flip it upside down out of the way. Underneath here, we're gonna take all these screws out, use a seven millimeter socket. Using a trim tool, there's a push pin right here. Pop those out on each side. On the inner fender well, we're gonna take these screws out and use a seven millimeter socket. Using a trim tool, take these push pins out. Just pop those out. And pop this push pin out. Same with the trim tool. Oh, sometimes they break, that's okay. Get new ones. Pop this trim piece off, just pull it back. If you need to, you can use a trim tool. It's just clipped in. We're not gonna take it off completely, but just pop it out a little bit. There we go. There's a connector right here for the sensor. Connect the connector, just push down on the tab, slide that off, and push that wire in. And the inner fender well, just pull that out. And we just pop it down a little bit just so you can access inside here. There's three screws going in this way. I'm gonna take those out. On the inside here, there's three screws or three bolts. We wanna take those off. Use a 10 millimeter socket. that out and the other two Using a trim tool, we'll just pry this down. There is two clips that you may have to release from the inside. These are broken on this vehicle. 
you can use some needle nose pliers or even a straight blade screwdriver and just release the clips underneath here. Pry those down and out. And just grab the bumper. And just give it a quick tug just to release it from underneath the headlight. Then we're gonna do all the same stuff on the opposite side. Using a T30 socket, take these screws out. Good. And just grab the bumper cover, I'll just slide it off. And just pull it out. Disconnect the connector, just push it down on the tab. slides off and there's two tabs on the side here just grab the sensor pull up or you could even push it from the front just rock it back and forth and the sensor comes right out Take the new sensor, line it up, and just push it in place. And just lock the clips in, take the connector, line it up, lock the connector down. All right, that's good. And you can do the same with any of the other sensors. And there's a connector right here. You want to disconnect the connector. Just push down on the tab. And separate the connector. Now we're going to connect the connector. Line that up. Click it in place. There's a little retainer right here. You can slide it on the retainer. there. And slide the bumper in place. Just on the front of the bumper, just push in just to lock it in place. Now just under the headlight, you want to push that panel in place. Get this lined up with the fender. That's good. I'll put these bolts in. Because the inner fender well, this part of that popped off, 
we have to remove some of this trim a little bit. There's a couple clips on the back side of here. If you take an eight millimeter socket, you can get underneath the clips. You just push them and that releases the clip. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. you what the clip looks like. It looks like that. And then if you push the socket over, it just squeezes the clip. And this can pop out a little bit. And just slip this in place. That's good. Before we push the trim back in place, connect the connector. Push it down, it's good. And you want to take the push pins, get those started, push those in. There's another one right there. that one in. Take the screws, get those all started. I'm going to tighten those down. Then you're going to do the same on the other side. Underneath, we're going to put these screws in. Tighten those down. Tighten those up, put all these screws in, get these started. here. There's one more. And yeah, we'll tighten those down. And take the screws up top, get these started.
tighten those down. Flip this panel over, make sure it's still attached. The cable's still attached, that's good. Take the push pins and push those back in. And you're good to go. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.